What is up, players? It is War Boss Tay. Welcome to the video that's going to kind of walk you through the War Boss Tay 2016 painting challenge. The first thing I have open here is our community page on Google on Google Google Plus Google Group Google Communities. I'll put this link down below so you can join us there. For the first time ever this year, we're also going to be teaming up with my War Gaming Life. I'll put the link for this as well in the bottom. But um, when you get to my Wargaming Life, I'm already signed in. So if you've never created a, a profile yet, it's going to ask you to create a profile, join in, um, and then when you are joined in, you can click on the forums and you can find our group right here at the bottom, the 2016 Painting Challenge. All right, and then you can write uh, questions, you can do uh, posts, and do uh, whatever you want. Just create create things and post them up here. So this is a uh, an online community for Wargamers, by Wargamers, for Wargamers, and uh, it is set up by a good, good buddy, Ringo Simpkins. So uh, you should def definitely check it out. Definitely get over here and make a profile and uh, join my group, the 2016 Painting Challenge. We're gonna everything I'm posting up on Google, uh, the links to YouTube videos that I make for this Painting Challenge. I'm also gonna post here just to keep track of all of my work. And uh, up here I posted what was this? This was like three years ago, three years ago, two three years ago. My uh, Death Corps of Krieg army. So you can see just how how much like at what point I started with this army to get and get to work on. So uh, the painting challenge, if you're not familiar with it, it's a 31 day challenge. It used to be tied to a month, either May, June or July, because summer months always worked for me. I was a teacher, so I uh, had the summer off and I felt like, oh, this is a good time. I can do 31 consecutive days of miniature painting and post videos about them. Now that I have a more fluid schedule and my, um, I don't have, I, I'm, not, I'm not teaching anymore, so my schedule is usually the same. I wanted to make it more accessible to people who have, uh, who don't don't have the time maybe to do these kinds of huge projects. A lot of times I would get comments or messages from my viewers and say, you know, I want to do the project, I want to do the painting challenge, I just don't have the time to do it. I, I am just way too busy. So I thought, how can I make our project more inclusive and more accessible and open to people to take part in? Because that's really what I want this project to do. It's not about me showing off, this is, hey, look at what I can do in a month. I'm so amazing and awesome. This project is supposed to be for everybody around the world to do something together, to work on their projects and uh, kind of be united in working on their projects and uh, building the community, strengthening people's confidence, giving people the... Um, the confidence to to start making videos and producing videos on their channels if they've usually just watched YouTube videos this is a great way to get your feet wet and dive into the deep side of the pool and start producing videos making content and uh, just building our community so let's go over to the Google page again and I've pinned this post right here it's got the Google Drive documents for for the challenge and a little bit of an overview for those people who've taken part before with some changes but why don't we just say you're completely new to this project and you say oh okay I've, I've got some time in the next three months between May, June, and July to do a painting project and uh, I'm going to be Johnny No Name and say okay I've got a, a, a box of Chaos Space Marines that I, I just bought and I want to do a project I want to join in because it looks like fun how do I do it? So the first thing you do is sign up to My Wargaming Life, make your profile, join in the group over here. And then once you've got that, you download this book here, it takes you to the Google Drive page, click on the first open thing, it's the document, you can print it out, you can uh, save it, 
on your computer so you can bring it up anytime you want to. And it's just like a user's guide, it's a user's manual on how to take part. So let's say we've already done this part, the My Wargaming Life, we've signed in, we've got our, our password. I've also left some blanks like these in the document, so if you do want to print it out, you can write down in pen or pencil or whatever, what your, uh, fill those out rather, if you will. I guess <laughs> like when you teach for so long, when you're a teacher for so long, you make documents for people that have things like check boxes and blank spaces so they can fill in the blanks. <laughs> so force of habit. All right, so here I am, Johnny No Name. I want to choose my difficulty level. Now you've got four levels here, an adventurer level, the casual, most basic level of participation. So you will at the beginning choose to commit to a project you check in with updates throughout the month or throughout the 31 days and then you answer the daily questions but mostly you're just working on your own and at the end you film a wrap-up summarizing what you were able to accomplish what you're able to finish and uh, this is for those of you who are involved with other projects or you have little time on your hands due to like work school family so uh, say that Johnny No Name is a full-time um, a full-time worker and he has a full-time job and his uh, second baby's on the way. His first baby just, his first kid just is starting to go to school and has come down with the chicken pox. So I don't really have much time, but I know I want to take part. I know I want to paint these Chaos Space Marines. So at the very beginning of my challenge, I'm going to say, all right, I, I've got two weeks free in June and then I know I'm going on a big family trip in July. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do my other two weeks at the end of July. So I would say, all right, I'm going to commit for these four weeks, 31 days. And I'm at the very beginning on June 17th, when I want to start my project, I will say, all right, I'm going to commit to this box of Chaos Space Marines. I'm going to paint them up. And then let's say throughout the four weeks, throughout the 31 days, I have uh, the chance to post maybe one or two videos every Sunday because that's when I have some free time. So I just film a 31 second video or maybe I don't even have a camera or a webcam. So I'll just write out a post and I'll throw it up on the Google group and on the my uh, Wargaming Life forum. And I'll just say, oh yeah, I've, I was able to base code and uh, I was able to finish painting them and I'm really happy with it. And uh, and then at the end of the four weeks, at the end of July, I will check back in and say, all right, the two weeks in June and the two weeks in July I was able to do, I finished my Space Marines, my Chaos Space Marines, I'm super happy. And uh, this is uh, some pictures I took of them on my iPhone. And there you go. That's very, very easy, very simple, very casual. The Lord Commander level is a little bit more advanced and it is a little bit more intensive for those people who have the time to do it. Not only are you working on your projects, but the goal of this level is to update as much as you can. And for those of you who maybe like you'll type a comment and you'll say, hey, great video every once in a while, but mostly you just watch and you not really comment or participate online on YouTube or the forums. Uh, this is a great way to just put out content and just flood the uh, YouTube servers with uh, video clips, flood the, the, the Google groups with just updating every single day if you can. That's really the way to do it. This is the original Warboss Tape Painting Challenge experience. Back when I said, okay, this is 31 days uh, throughout the month of, I think it was July was the first painting challenge. We're going to do it in July. Start July 1st, go to July 31st every single day, post a video. It's pretty nuts. Again, it doesn't have to be consecutive days. You could do a week in May, a week in June, two weeks in July, whatever you want to do. But every single day as much as possible if you can update. And not only are you answering the daily questions, which we'll get to below, but you're also doing the secondary objectives, which are also listed below. So this is the very, very uh, time intensive way of participating. And it's the original, the traditional Warboss Tape Painting Challenge. It's like Painting Challenge Prime, the, uh, the original way of doing it. Then you've got the lore master level. This is the creative level of participation for people who also want to create stories and tell stories as well as work on their projects. So not only are you working on your project, this is has nothing to do with the Lord Commander. You can do an adventurer level commitment and want to do this lore master level because it's, it's on top of whatever you're already working on. You're going to create and develop a story. 
and you're going to have checkpoints that you're going to work on throughout the project and as you fail to meet or as you fail or meet meet or fail each week's goals as a painter your story is going to change and at the end of the month you're going to share your story with the community so <laughs> i wrote for all you english and creative writing majors but this is for anybody who loves to tell stories for for gms that are thinking of running uh, a story with their Dungeons and Dragons group or uh, their role playing group, and or for uh, d just if you're thinking of a creative story that you really like and you want to um, you want to write it your on your own. I don't know if that makes sense, but we'll, we'll go through an example below. And last year we've had so many great participants doing the Extreme Fluff Challenge. It was just phenomenal how how creative people got to be and and the ways that they kind of showed off their art and. I, I was so pleased with this. So I, I, I hope we have more people taking part in Lore Master already, uh, or this year. I know already we've got some someone here asking a question about the, the Lore Master level. So I'm going to answer it right here. Actually, you know what? I, I won't answer it right here. I will um, leave it open right now, and then I'll, I'll come back to it. And uh, Fimbis and Zwala, uh, hopefully that will answer your questions when, when we get to it. And then we get to the Emperor, the rarest challenger who wants to attempt it all. Okay, this level of participation, this is not for the faint of heart because you're not only taking into account the fact that you're going to be attempting the Lord Commander post uh, update every single day, try to answer all the daily questions and get all the secondary objectives done. You're also doing the Lore Master and it's just... It's crazy. This one is crazy. This is really if you have the the gumption, if you have the desire to just go all the way with the painting project, this is the most, this is like the insanity level right here. When, when you're choosing, when you're starting a new video game, this is the one all the way on the right, that the hardcore, insane, totally um, overkill mode. But if you have the time and if you can do it, th these are the ones, these are the challenges that go down in legend because they are the ones that everybody loves to follow on on Google Plus and on YouTube. I remember last year um, we had the participants that were going for the level four, and like you see their you see their their uh, their setbacks and their frustrations, and then when when they achieve their goals, like it's amazing, and you're like rooting them on, and you're cheerleading for them, and you want everybody to everybody who attempts this emperor challenge is like already they, they go down as as legendary for me because that is this is the the top level. This is what I wanted to do every single year, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm geared up. I'm gonna do the level four emperor challenge, and all of a sudden, bam, <laughs> life. Boom, job, bang, home, bang, work, bang, bills, and 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 I didn't. <laughs> so <laughs> if you can get there, then I salute you and I will follow you and you will go down in history. All right, so now we're going to choose our project. For, for Johnny No Name, we've got my, my box of Chaos Space Marines, but let's say uh, he knows that he doesn't have too much time to work on it. So maybe I'll just say, uh, instead of finishing the entire box of Chaos Space Marines, maybe I only want to get them up to the base coats. Or maybe I only want to do five out of the ten, and I completely built and painted ready to play only five of them. Or maybe I know I have more time in August and September, and there's no rush on these guys, so I'll only assemble them and I'll prime them, and maybe I'll do the first coat of paint. That's what you're going to describe here. What do you want to do? There's no set beginning or end. You don't have to start with everything still in the box and you don't have to end with your models completely finished. So say you've already got some models that are half painted and you're working on. You can start with them half painted and maybe you just want to finish them. Or maybe you've got some models that uh, you have in bags and Ziplocs and they're all unassembled and all you really want to do is assemble them and prime them and that's going to be enough for you. There's no right or wrong answer. Just fill this in. Okay, the next thing we want to think about is how are you going to post these videos and how are you going to post the uh, pictures? Do you have a smartphone or a DSLR camera or a webcam on your computer? Any of those will work. 
for me, the easiest thing that I think most people have nowadays is a smartphone. Because a smartphone, if you are able to get onto the internet, you can take pictures and take video, and you can uh, either download the YouTube app or the YouTube capture app. I think those are great. And I think you can even just go to, on your smartphones, you can go to like youtube.com and there might be an option to upload. But uh, they're, they're, the apps are great ways of kind of editing, doing some very basic editing and posting them up. You can also, another thing that I've been doing is um, making slideshows with voice over narration on iMovie, which is surprisingly simple and intuitive. And I've got an iPhone, but I know if you have an Android, you can, there, there are um, video editor programs and apps that you can use that are just as good. So uh, that's, a, that, that's how I would do it. If you've got a camera, like I use a Canon, T5i, so that connects directly into the computer. After I'm done filming my videos downstairs, I'll come up to the computer, I will uh, plug it in. When you turn on the phone, it will ask you if you want to import the video and import pictures, and then once I've got it on the computer, you can easily put it up online. I mean, if, if this is something new to you, then you definitely want to get a feel for how you're going to be posting because you don't want the actual posting of your work to take too much time. Believe me, you want to spend the time working on your models. If you if you're going the lore master direction, you want to spend your time working on writing and developing your artwork and stuff for that. But um, that that's you don't want to be worrying about importing videos and um, editing too much because the name of the game, if you're going for the either the Lord Commander or the Emperor level is you, you want to get your videos and your posts up as fast as possible. You spend the time working on painting and painting, working on your models, and um, everything else is is just a little bit of extra work. Otherwise, it's gonna you're, you're going to get totally swamped. And we don't want that. Okay, so you want to choose the 31 days you're going to be working on your project. Like I said, they don't have to be consecutive. They could be all four Saturdays in May and then a week in June and you know three weeks in July however you want to do it it's up to you as long as you when you're posting your videos you just label your days day one day two day three uh, even if it's uh, you don't have to write the day of the month it is just write in your video what day of your project it is okay now we're getting on to the boot camp so boot camp is something that I developed last year for the May painting challenge last year where you take it before your challenge starts, and this is kind of going to give you a little bit of a warm up. So uh, I know we're kind of kind of coming a little bit down to the wire here for for the uh, if if you want to start your project in May uh, on May first, but it's uh, still a great opportunity. You don't have to take it if you've already done the challenge. This is not a required thing to complete the challenge, but it's just a little extra thing for people. It's really geared for beginners who haven't posted a lot or uh, consistently, if you've never posted consistent videos and content on YouTube or, or other forums like Google+, then this might help you to get into the spirit of what the actual painting challenge is going to be like. So I've kind of streamlined the entire 31-day challenge into five days. Again, they don't have to be consecutive, but you want to uh, make sure you, you get through five days of not only working on your product, or your projects, but also answering the questions, the daily questions, and just trying to meet your commitment by the end of the five days. So let's choose our warm up. Johnny No Name, uh, I don't want to work on my Chaos Space Marines until the project. So let's say I've got uh, an Orc War Boss for Warhammer 40k, and um, I it's still in the box, and all I want to do is build it, maybe. I don't even want to start painting it. I just want to uh, clean it and build it and yeah, maybe I'll start painting it because it, it is five days. So For my commitment, how far should I get? Let's say we'll get base coats So on day one For my commitment, I'll say uh, build assemble and base coat orc war boss So on day one when I'm done working, maybe let's say I, I finished cutting out all the pieces from the sprues and I, I cleaned the mold lines and then I glued it together so at the end of day one, I will film a video of myself and I'll say, hey, look, this is my model. And I was able to finish building it. And tomorrow, maybe I'll spray prime it and get to work on, on painting the base coats. 
I'll also answer the daily question, which is right here. I won't go in into it. If you have questions about any of the daily questions, this one or in the main part of the project, you can uh, leave a comment or, or ask me in a message. And hopefully, I'll, hopefully I've written them to be clear enough that you don't need uh, too much clarification. But of course, if you have any questions, then uh, you can definitely ask me. So day two, let's say I was able to prime the model, but uh, I can't do anything else because I have to wait for it to dry. So, I'll, But let's say I don't um, film a video. Maybe I just I don't even take pictures of it, and I just write in the Google group, hey, guys, I was able to prime the model. No pictures. See you tomorrow. Oh, and as an answer for the day two question, then I answer the question. Then day three, I am able to maybe paint the bottom half of the model, the boots and the pants. So I answer the question, maybe I'll film the video and I'll upload it to YouTube. You can kind of see how every day I do a little bit of work and then after I'm done working, I either film or I take a picture or I just post on my Wargaming Life or the Google group. And at the day five, let's say that I was able to finish. So I would answer the day five questions. I'd show off my finished model. And uh, the main thing to ask yourself if you have never done the War Boss Tape Painting Challenge, is how was that? How was the five-day boot camp? Did, did you feel like you were really under a lot of pressure? Do you think you need to change your commitment level or your difficulty level? I don't want to burn out anybody. That is the last thing that I want. This is a project that is supposed to be fun, and it's supposed to be challenging because it is a project and a challenge, but it should not discourage you and say make you say like ah this is this whole hobby thing was a terrible idea I'm gonna throw away all my models and put them in the backyard and set them on fire and never do anything like this again we want you to be challenged and stimulated and inspired but we we do not want to burn you out so you have to ask yourself when it comes time for your 31 day challenge can you maintain the pace that you need to uh, to work on it and a lot of people, I think, found out that the adventurer level was more than enough for them. It, it, last year, we had some people, uh, you, mostly veterans of the project. We had some new people like Tori Ling uh, doing a great job of, of working every single day. Paul, Alba. Um, and then, of course, you had the, the, um, the, the really hardcore ones. Like, I can't even begin to name everybody. I think Daniel Sprinkle, Mega Tim Ho, like you had the veterans that have done the project. They know how, they, like they have a system going and it's just amazing because last year I wasn't even able to finish the project. And so like when you go through boot camp, that should be a good indication of how it's going to go. And then you begin your project. And here's the 31 daily questions. So um, at on top of that, if, you, if you're going for the secondary objectives, if you're going the Lord Commander level, even if not, even if you're doing an adventure level and you want to do the secondary objectives, the secondary objectives were made as kind of side quests for uh, to take Mega Tim Ho's idea that your project is like the main quest of your character, and then you can go off and do these side quests and gain more experience and uh, gain more loot and be more, um, just have a more f full experience. So for, for, for me, what I translated that into are these, are these are things that might take you a little bit of extra time, which is why I'm giving you a whole week's worth in the four weeks and then uh, the couple of days at the end to really do some extra work and then share with us some things that are going to help us get to know you a little bit better. So you can... Right, you can include these if you want into your daily posts, or you can make a secondary objective or side quest video separate. And um, these are just, you know, take a look at them, and they're fun little extra things that you can do that will uh, really help us to get to know you and hopefully inspire you and get you feeling really good about posting videos and posting content. Now we get to the Oath of Moment. And uh, the Oath of Moment is something special that I've developed that is kind of like a commitment that you... Uh, it's a creative way of committing to doing something for the week. So every week, or every seventh day, starting with day one, <laughs> I urge you to publicly make your Oath of Moment for the week. And you use the following format. So on day one, I've got this 
a really epic little monologue here, and then may, let's say Johnny No Name says, by the end of day eight, I will assemble all of my Chaos Space Marines for the challenge. And then at, at the end of day eight, on that video, I'll say, okay, on this paintbrush, I make my oath of moment. By the end of day 15, I will prime and base coat all of the models. And then on 22, I will shade all of the models. And by the end of 29, I will um, highlight all of the models. And then on day 29, I make my last oath of moment. By the end of day 31, I will complete my project. And you can describe what that means. That means basing and varnishing my my models and then you finish it off with all this awesome awesome dialogue here I mean just a fun little thing you don't have to do it but I usually say like hold up your paintbrush in front of the camera make your oath of moment swear it before us and before the painting gods and uh, and it will be even more epic all right, now this is for Juala and uh, Fimbus, where, and anybody else who has questions about the Lore Master Challenge, just in case this hasn't been uh, the clearest, which uh, it probably isn't in my brain. It's so, uh, it, it usually comes out differently than what I put out on the page. But okay, here we go. The Lore Master level. You think of a narrative adventure where the main character or characters have a goal, and the story... If you want, it can relate to what you're, you're painting. Maybe I want to do the Lore Master Challenge as Johnny No Name. I'm, I'm an English major and uh, I want to write a challenge or I want to write a story. And my story is that these 10 Chaos Space Marines are going to um, drop down into the Imperial sector and they are going to uh, desecrate an altar of Sigmar. Yeah, there you go. Or not say what am I talking about saying why I'm mixing my, my universes and they want to desecrate the altar of the Emperor so then I'll think of four checkpoints that happen throughout the story do they drop where they are supposed to do they land does their drop pod land where it's supposed to are they able to get into uh, the the walls of the city without being seen can they make it to the temple without reinforcements being called and can they destroy the uh, the temper and the sanctuary and the, the entire like cathedral of the Emperor so now that I have my four checkpoints, I will write them down. Oh, I'll describe the narrative adventure here. Space Marines attacking an Imperial sector to desecrate the Emperor's temple. What's the goal of your heroes? Um, break into the temple, blow it up, and um, yeah, and laugh. What is at stake for the first week? So the uh, drop pod hits where it's supposed to right outside the city. Uh, what's it stay for the second week like I said infiltrating the city third week getting into the temple and desecrating the altar maybe the fourth week is um, get everyone to the Thunderhawk and uh, for the final encounter let's say uh, ex extract off of the planet because there are actually gonna be f more than four weeks yeah because we're doing a 31 day challenge the first four weeks are are 28 days and then 29 30 31st for the final encounter so you really have like five checkpoints there should be five not four and uh, and then all you do is set yourself um, checkpoint goals for for yourself like you look back at your at your oath of moment and if you made each week's commitment then your guys succeed and if you don't, if you, like, say, I, I didn't assemble all my Chaos Space Marines, they failed in their first objective, which means that their drop pod landed way off, um, off in, in the distance, and maybe some of their guys got killed. And so maybe every week, depending on if I succeed or fail, they're not able to uh, infiltrate the city over the walls. They have to go through the sewer, and in, do in doing so, they are discovered by an Imperial Guards patrol, and they, lost they lose two more guys. The third week, instead of getting into the temple and blowing up the cathedral, uh, Space Marine reinforcements have been called and they are beaten back. They have to figure out a new way of, of destroying the temple since they can't sneak in and they lost uh, their leader with the power fist. And the fourth, so you can kind of see if I fail and I fail and I fail, I can still win even if I get the drop pod goes way off target and we lose some guys, we can still succeed, succeed, succeed and make every other objective and win, but it's just going to be a little bit harder. Every week is going to be a little bit more tricky to get around. And as a writer, I think that's fantastic. Nothing should be a cakewalk. 
your guys should have conflict and challenge and have all these obstacles to overcome. So um, make it fun. And by all means, if you need to change your commitments, um, because you know, life, <laughs> life rears its ugly head, then yeah, do that and, and alter, make it, make it achievable. The thing is we don't want your goals to pile on top of each other and all of a sudden, oh my God, I, I didn't assemble all my guys. So for week two, I have to assemble and I have to base code. And then week three, I didn't do any of that. So I have to assemble, I have to base code and do the washes. We don't want it to steamroll like that. It, it's just going to keep snowballing, you know? So if you need to adjust because of, of life circumstances, then by all means, adjust everything so you can achieve it. It should be challenging, not impossible. If you want some examples, there are some great examples from last year. Alternative Artist was so cool. She made a, uh, she not only wrote a story, but she uh, had like drawings and sketches. Uh, Mortis Causer made <laughs> this fantastic slideshow and he incorporated like the names of all the participants, all the participants in the challenge. And his was so much fun to watch. There's also a uh, Play It Painted did a terrific one using um, some of his own rules, going uh, working with the uh, weekly checkpoints, and he made his almost like a like a video game with eight bit music in the background. There were so many other great participants last year that that did the challenge, that wrote the fluff, that um, kind of made their own stories. So if you want to go with the Lord Master level, it is a lot of fun to do. All right, and that's the end of our document. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know. Again, you can always reach me through uh, Google, through YouTube, you can send comments. I'm not even sure how many comments this video is going to get because I hope I haven't put you all to sleep explaining the challenge this year. And again, get on here to the My Wargaming Life forums and post there as well. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you had a, a great time kind of learning about the challenge, figuring out when you want to do it. And remember, I'm going to be doing mine in May. I think a lot of people who did it last year, May works for them. So they'll be doing it in May, but I'm going to be promoting it all throughout summer because this is a summer painting challenge. You can start it when you want it. You can end it anytime before a, uh, August. Anytime before August, you can finish it and it's going to be great. So I hope you go on this journey with me. And uh, thank you to Ringo and My Wargaming Life. Thank you to everybody on Google who have been supporting me and on YouTube. And I hope you join me. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Laters!